Okay, g'day guys, my name's Andrew Dwight. I'm going to show you how I do BIM and how I do it in SketchUp. A lot of people scoff when they hear the word SketchUp and BIM in the same sentence, yet I guess not everybody's seen uh, this. So look, we're using a, a plugin for SketchUp called Pluspec. This is a pre-release version. Uh, it's not available to the public as yet, but it will be available very, very shortly, like in the next week. And I'm going to show you what we drew with it, uh, how we attributed, and you know what some of the functionality is. So this model, including design, like I guess thinking forwards and backwards, and anyone who does design realizes that you've got to change several things. I'm at about 16 hours now, uh, so that's to do the whole model ready for drafting. I've just got off the phone to the client; they're happy with the concept drawing and uh, we'll do a pre-lodgement meeting with council from this actual model uh, which we do via online I don't uh, I try not to drive where I can there's a few councils now that are allowing us to do that it's a big benefit for everybody so all right look I'll, I'll show you a bit more about this model as I said I, I did show the client earlier on they were very happy with the outcome they were looking for an extension on top of a house uh, so I wanted to know what I needed to do to build this house, how I'd go about getting the rooms in, how I'd go about getting the stairs in, how I'd go about getting you know, the kitchen in a new place so we could uh, comply to the council requirements. <clears throat> All that was involved in the 16 hours. Now there's a lot more to this drawing than, than what it appears. Sure we could actually walk through and have a look through the model which is good for clients. It's, it's a great way to sell but um, you know more importantly is can we build it and how much would it cost to build so using the plus spec tools we can draw the slabs we can draw the walls we can draw the windows the doors the columns the roofs the stairs and set it all up for 2d and i'll show you a little bit of that as we go i won't get too much into the drawing side of things now because as you can see it's drawn but i'll quickly show you how it is parametric now some people do understand what parametric is and some people don't basically parametric means that anything inside of this model can be rearranged without having to redraw the whole lot. You know, I don't have to manually click in and delete lines one by one. I can delete windows very quickly. I can change things around. So I'll show you a little bit more of that as we go. Okay, so 4D, I'm not sure whether you guys have heard of 4D. I'm sure a lot of you have and went, what's that all about? Well, 4D would be how we schedule the job. Now I've set them up in scenes. Uh, I didn't have to go and spend a great deal of time because as you draw with Plusbeck, it's already drawing things in layers that can be <clears throat> set out in the job schedule so basically all I did was turn everything off and save the scene so that would be the slab I can estimate the slab here and if I only wanted to know what was in the slab I can just quickly do an estimate I've, I, before I did this I typed in the job address okay and it's told me the quantity of concrete termite barrier and so on there so I'll get out of that uh, and then I guess say what would be the next stage of the job would be probably putting the, the brickwork up and the wall frames we can break this down into smaller sections, brickwork and then windows and so on if we wanted to, but just to demonstrate how I would do it, this is what we would do. So we can see we've got timber frames there, uh, we've got sizes on them. That's all automatically put in, the timber heads automatically put in. If I put a door in and move it over here, it'll automatically put another timber head in there for you. Sorry, another timber head. Um, from this stage we would go through to engineering what are we going to hold the second story up with as I was explaining before about parametrics everything inside of here is changeable so if I selected a beam I went down this is actually SketchUp make this one guys I do use Pro I actually did draw this in make I use, I'm using SketchUp Pro 14 which is a really fantastic bit of gear and I do recommend to draw in that um, but uh, having the Plusbeck plugin allows you to do that. Now, this is some parametrics, which is a dynamic component which has been created and can be downloaded from rubysketch.com. Uh, I can go in and say, okay, well, I want the beam to be, say, galvanized, and just so you can see how much change it makes, and I'll change the size of the beam to, say, a 610 UB and push apply. You'll notice that the, the size of the beam changed visually, also the kilograms changed, and so on. As I mentioned, I'm going to build this house, so I don't want to keep that change. I'm going to put prices and everything in there. I'm just going to undo the change and <clears throat> go back to where it was because I, 
I don't want to build it. Okay, and let's go and have a look at, say, our joists. So our floor joists there. We've got sizes on them as well. Um, how they work in with the beams. This is all included in the design time that I said. Then we've got first floor frames. Okay, timber flooring. This is just sheet flooring. You, you put a, a floor over top of that. You can do that as well. If we get a minute, I'll show you that. Interesting thing here, laundry chute. Uh, it would be a problem if I just did that. I, I drew it in because I wanted to remember down the track to cut the floor joist out. Now I haven't done it yet, so you can see that if they threw anything in that chute, it would hit the joist, so I'd move that joist around um, and make it so that that worked. It's a, I guess it's clutch detection in a visual way. Uh, let's have a look what else we've got here. Just a few more views. Job progresses. The color view. <coughs> the roof on. These are the schedules of the jobs that I would normally do. We put the roof on before we put the wall lining in. Uh, all of the timber in is in there, everything that's required to build it. We can actually go and we can look at things individually if I want to look at I don't know say one of these timber frames so I'll pick something with a head in it uh, go over here <coughs> or we can look at the steel beam I can look at any element I can look at a window later once I get to that stage. Uh, it's a locked wall so it's not going to estimate that wall. We can do an estimate of the house as it stands so there's no internal lining in there so I can just click on here. Inside of here you can put in the job address details and so on. Uh, that's me. And you can put in what stage the job's at whether it's concept or whether it's at uh, construction stage, CC stage, whatever it may be. Okay, uh, I just did an estimate there now. It's gone through flooring. It's given me quantities, <coughs> the decking, anything that I saw on the screen, brickwork, quantities of brickwork. I won't get too involved in this. Fix out architraves, hinges, screws, 128 screws, 16 hinges, uh, the amounts of architraves there, internal walls, uh, glass, fix out door furniture, swinging doors size of the doors and so on according to what I drew I didn't have to manually go and put that in I'd basically did it I'll give you a bit of a, an example of how I would say put a window in I'll go and put it somewhere where I don't disturb my drawing too much so I go and select a wall I, as I mentioned before parametrics is how do we go about moving things around so if I wanted to move this wall around I might say put it through the middle of this guy here I'm in a translucent mode. This is not a fast computer, guys. It's 8 gig of RAM. I don't know if that means anything to you, but I think they come with 16 gig now. Um, if I want to put a window in, choose the type of window, size of window, submit, and very difficult in a clear mode. I'll put a window in there. That window will open and close so you can show clients. Now obviously I don't want to keep that guy because as I said I am building this. <coughs> undo it. Control Z undoes does things if you aren't sure. Now the 3D model is fantastic for showing clients looking at clash detections, figuring out how to build the job, uh, figuring out things. But at the end of the day we do have to lodge these things into council. Now this is where SketchUp Pro comes into it and also with Plusspec as well. So inside of Plusspec it's got to generate scenes. It will automatically generate scenes according to uh, what you've drawn. <coughs> It'll justify them. So let's have a look at, say, a plan. No, sorry, an elevation. <coughs> we can still look at that in 3D, but it's set it up for you so you don't have to set it up. You don't have to set the scenes up. It's in black and white. Line weights and thicknesses are, are done. Uh, okay, elevations. We've all seen elevations before, but this is all off the model. As you can see, they go into layout very easily. Sections always can be a little bit cumbersome to do, but very quick and easy with Plusbeck and SketchUp. They were set up automatically. Uh, we can move the sections around, or uh, I think I've drawn a couple of sections in here. 
<clears throat> have a look at what it looks like in colour. Very easy to demonstrate to council what's going to happen. Shadows is a breeze, uh, and uh, I did get the opportunity to do a pre lodgement meeting with Randwick Council the other day, which you know, it's the first one I've actually got to do, and it, geez, it saved me some time. Uh, let's have a look at the ground floor plan. Uh, you know, we can change door site around. So this is another parametric attribute. These doors are put in automatically. You don't have to cut them in like you used to in SketchUp. Uh, the software that we created uh, does all of this for you. You know, the doors even open and close if you want to. <coughs> There's a lot of information in there, and it's very easy for someone to do. You know, I think with two or three hours training, you'd be able to draw quite efficiently in, in this. And if you make a mistake, don't worry about it. Just pull the wall around, delete the window. Uh, it's so much quicker and easier than <coughs> some of its competitors. And the big advantage is, is that you don't have to go and map where you want things to spit out. It's very easy to go through and say, OK, I want to estimate the whole job. So I've just simply clicked on the all scene, which was created inside of Pluspec, and I'll do an estimate. Which I've already shown you, won't go back through it. <coughs> okay, now as far as getting extra things for, and I'm doing this live, guys, there's, there's no smoke and mirrors here. <coughs> uh, if I wanted to, I better even log in. Uh, fortunately, that was in there. Uh, I wanted to put in a, another product, I don't know, I'll say we put in, I don't know, one of these Brightex paper holders. Okay, let's have a look. Grab that drag it straight into the model and now I have more products you can also create your own products if you don't want to use something that's in that library that's inside a plus spec you can go and create your own product we've got a special little BIM tool there which will really save some time attributing and everything that you have to do in certain programs uh, putting metadata in is just I don't know I, I think it's excessive and it's not intuitive Drawing this this kind of thing is very simple. Uh, grabbing a wall, drawing a wall, selecting the type of wall, very very simple. Uh, double brick, standard, and we can just go and start drawing away as we please. Putting windows in. And this is all real time, guys. Moving walls around with windows in even, doesn't matter. Uh, we can add extra walls as we go. Move that to there. you notice it'll add two extra on the side. You can just sculpt and mould like you can in SketchUp, but you actually have the ability to go through and you know change materials, change wall types later. I'll just delete that out of the way. Changes to say a brick veneer wall. You know, it's just not possible to do this stuff that quick. Sorry, I just selected the slab in the background there. Let's change the wall to a, a brick veneer wall with studs. Uh, brick veneer. Submit. It'll go through. Let's have a look at it in frame mode. There we go. It puts the timber head in for us. Uh, we can change the size of the heads. We don't automatically specify engineering here. That is something that can be changed around. We can move the window around. Let's go back to all. Um, we want the window to be bigger, we can change that as well. There's, there's so much, guys. I'm not going to get too involved now because I'll send you off to sleep. But uh, BIM in SketchUp is a reality with Pluspec, and I hope it helps you guys out a lot. It does help me from a construction side. I design and build, and I do it every day. Uh, we created the software for architects essentially, but we allowed for builders to be able to look at it, allow for engineers. I actually send these drawings to engineers, so if I went back to, where was I, brick and steel, I would send this to my engineer and say, hey, what do you think about the steel size? He'd click on it and say, okay, change this, change this. Or he can, if he doesn't know how to use it, he just grab the text tool and says, uh, change, oops, change the size. I encourage my engineers to do it because that's how it is. Then he can go and print it out straight away from that and say okay well there's our beams put it in parallel projection okay this would be beam one beam two beam three and these are going to be the sizes so you know he can write in whatever he wants now i know what's going on and uh away we go guys this is going to change the industry in my opinion 
allowing customers to see what it is that we're actually going to build before we actually turn the soil uh, is what BIM's all about. I'm very passionate about it, as you can tell. It doesn't matter whether you use Archicad, Revit, or SketchUp. It's a matter of just being able to um, convey what it is that you need to be built and how it's going to be done, and being able to navigate and view through a model uh, as simply and as easy as this is fine and simple to do. All right, guys, look, as I mentioned, it's called Pluspec. You can Google Pluspec, P-L-U-S-S-P-E-C on Google. Uh, and you can visit the Ruby Sketch website. There's a, another video there that, that shows, you know, probably a little bit more parametrics and, and how it works. Uh, and we've got a lot more coming. So we'll go into some details. We've got tutorials getting done now. Uh, we look forward to, you know, you guys can pre-register for this software now and uh, be the first to use it. There is beta testers out there that are using it now and we're getting some great feedback. All right, guys, look, I look forward to hearing from you. Cheers.